Friday. I don't know why. It's having a hard time focusing. Say hi, guys. Oh, because it's on. Um, there it is. Anyways, me and Carson are on our way to run some errands. We gotta go to the bank. And that's pretty much it. I wouldn't say errands. We just have to go to the bank um, because I gotta pay some bills. So, hope you guys are having a good day. What, Bo? Yeah, the playground. Every time she sees a playground, she freaks out. Hopefully we can go tomorrow. I would say today, but there's too much to be done at home. I have to print so that Joel can cut. You know, same old, same old. So, yeah. Um, okay. It's Friday. Monday. So, what? Monday. What? Are you gonna get some candy at the bank? Yeah? Oh, I don't know though. I was just gonna go to the ATM and to get candy you have to go to the to the actual window. Say hi guys. So I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> She's like whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna run to the bank and then go back to the house and pay bills. I was supposed to do this the other day, but I just kept putting it off because I did not have time. So. Hey guys, I'm sitting here working. <laughs> I have made uh, some pizza. I warmed up pizza from dinner the other night for Carson. It's over here on the table, but I cut it up in like little pieces because it's always so hot when it comes out of the microwave. So I just cut it into little squares and then give her a fork so she could eat it easier and so it cools off faster. So anyways, she had taken maybe like three or four bites. And she's like, all done. She's like so consumed with being outside with Joel right now because Joel's washing the car. So I was like, okay, whatever. And I left her food on the table because I knew she was not done. She was just so busy. So just now I heard the front door open and I hear her little feet running. Dee, 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 dee. She rocks over to the table, gets her fork, takes a bite, puts it down, and runs back outside. I was like, it was the cutest thing. It's hard to explain. Maybe she'll come back inside again and do it again. But I was laughing so hard. She's like, sure enough, turned around. She was putting up. There she is again. She's just so busy, she can't sit down and eat. <laughs> That's what she did just a second ago, but I bet she comes in again. But anyways, I need to get back to work. I'm getting so distracted. I had to put my phone down, face down, put it on mute. I cannot have any distractions, but she's just so freaking cute, I can't stand it. <laughs> so, oh, I'm so frustrated. I was printing orders and I had to switch my ink out. So, the place I ordered from Amazon, Whenever I got the new ink in, it looks different. So I just put it in there anyways, thinking maybe they just changed the packaging. It is printing a completely different quality than what I am used to. Um, so it's not matching up on when I print stuff. It looks totally different. It's not matching the color. It's supposed to be pink and it's turning out not pink turning out I don't know so now I have to go get some from hopefully Walmart has it because I really don't want to have to go to like across town to Best Buy um, but that's the current situation and now I have to reprint everything that printed wrong color just wasted paper wasted ink from the other colors I needed so yeah it's great it's just great situation and I got it when I get back I need to email them and try to get a refund because it's what like it's completely different than the picture too like the picture is what I normally order and what I got in the mail was totally different 
So I'm really, I'm really mad about that. They didn't say anything about them changing anything. So yeah, it's, it's interesting right now. It's two o'clock, just wasting time. And that's what's aggravating, but hopefully Walmart has what I need. If not, I'm sure Office Max or Best Buy will have it. So yeah. Okay, so I'm reprinting stuff and let me show you how bad the quality was like oh it still makes me mad that i'm having to reprint this stuff but let me show you guys so this was the with the old ink and this is with the new ink look at this i don't know if you can tell really let me see if i can turn this light on so see how much more faded this one is this is the new ink and this is the old one and then also, if you look at like these two flowers, this one is way more pink than this one. And same with the purples. Like the just the color is so much better on this one than this one. It's so much more deep than that. And let me see on the washi, you can kind of tell a little bit. This one was light and it was supposed to be like a blush pink. So yeah, definitely better with this ink. That other ink is not not working out. And then our first day of school. <laughs> first day of school? Don't do that. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Here guys. It's been quite the day. I finished printing. I don't even know what time. It was probably like 6 30 or 7 o'clock. We warmed up pizza and tater tot casserole for dinner and the kids went to bed. We kept Carson's pacifier from her all day today. She didn't take a nap, so she didn't have it all day. She had it a little bit this morning, and then I was like, nope, that's it. We need to stop giving in. So we took it away, and I think that has helped her with going to sleep because she knows when she goes to sleep, she can have her passy because she asked for it a few times during the day. The first two or three times, she threw a fit when we would not give it to her. She was literally screaming her head off mad. So after that, she would ask and we would say no and she wouldn't, she wouldn't whine anymore. So um, when it was bedtime, I was like, come on, let's go lay down. And she was like, no, throwing a fit. And I was like, all right, you want your passy? And she was like, yeah. So she was ready to go to bed then. And I laid her down and she didn't ask for me to lay with her like she has the past three or four nights. So there is that. And I pretty much was printing all day. The kids and Joel were outside playing while I was printing. I got everything printed and everything fixed with the ink situation. Um, I don't know if I told you guys this, but we also I also found out I had an issue with my paper. So I was getting like these random papers. I thought it was my printer that would have like, um, it, would, it would leave these little gray specks on the paper. And I thought ink was like being splattered or something that I needed to clean my printer but it was actually the paper it was on the paper that came from my supplier so I had to stop and go through all of my paper to make sure I didn't use any that had these spots on it and there was some that had like big spots on it but anyways it's just like splattered gray I don't know what it is so anyways I had to stop and look through my whole all of my paper to make sure I got all of it together so I could tell the company how much paper was messed up. So I emailed them, that took more time, and then I had to go back through what I printed after I had already reprinted from the ink issue and see if there was any paper that I used that had splatters on it. So it took way longer than expected. But anyways, the kids are laying down. It's the weekend so they can stay up, but they have to be in their rooms quiet. Carson and Joel are sleeping. Um, I've just been watching YouTube. Me and Cadence went to Hobby Lobby earlier because I had to get some ribbon. I'm gonna be making some dance bows for Joel's cousin because she's like a dance teacher and they have homecoming game Friday. So I'm gonna mail them to her tomorrow. So I'm gonna make those after I paint my nails. That's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna sit down and paint my nails and then after I do that, I'm gonna make those bows. Um, but I think I'm just going to use this color. It's like a brown. And it's by OPI. And it's called Tickle My Francy. So I'm going to use this on my hands. I don't know what color I'm going to put on my toes yet. I 
99% of the time always put bright colors on my feet. I don't like putting dark colors on my toes. I don't know why. I usually do like white or like a hot pink or a bright orange or something like that or a turquoise. Um, I usually never do dull colors like a red or a brown or anything like that even if it is fall or winter. So I don't know what color I'm gonna do my toes yet but I know I'm gonna use this for my nails because I want, I really like this color. So that's what I'm about to do. Here they are, just super, super nude. I like the same color as my hands, but I really like them. I think they're really pretty, not too bright. It's like, like the perfect nude. I love it. I'm gonna do my toes. This color, it's China Glaze and it's Shocking Pink. So I'm gonna do that off camera because I know some people aren't too fond of feet or toes. Um, I'll show you guys what they look like when they're done, but I'm not going to show you um, me painting them. I just did pink. Looking super cute. Super bright. Okay, so I'm about to make these bows. And I figured I would show you guys. I've never made bows like this before, but it doesn't look too hard. I looked up a tutorial. Um, I have made bows before. And I had these little rhinestones in my stash of craft stuff. The, the, the spider closet, <laughs> the closet where the spiders were, um, or where that spider was in my video that one time. That All those little tote things are is storage for like ribbon, hot glue, uh, I don't even know, like wrapping stuff or gifts. Um, it's just there's so much stuff in there. So anyways, I grabbed some stuff out of there and I'm gonna make these bows. They're not like bow bows, they're like the ponytail streamer ones that I'm gonna make and they're for a dance team in Houston. So um, I figured I would show you guys how to do them. They look really, really simple. So maybe you guys can make them for yourself. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I got some ribbon. Um, it was not on sale. If you're gonna buy ribbon, go when it's on sale. I usually wait till it's on sale, but she needs these like ASAP, so I had to get it. Plus I'm getting reimbursed 
I told her, I was like, um, it's not on sale. And she was like, just get it because we need it. We need it by homecoming. So, and I got some little ponytails. I didn't have to buy ponytails because we had a lot of them for the girls. One, I had a brand new package. They're still like bent from being on the cardboard, but I just have to make four of them. So, I'll show you guys how to make them. So you are gonna need to sew them since they're on ponytails. So I just have like a, a big needle. I don't know where I got this from, probably Walmart, but it came with like a bunch of different size needles. So I just grabbed the biggest one because of the string that I'm using. It's like really thick. Um, and this is the string I'm using. I think it's like um, crochet string. I don't know, but a lot of it comes on a roll for cheap and it's good for tying bows together to keep them, keep them, um, you know, like really secure. And then these are the ribbons I got. So she needed navies and white, and then she wants one of them with gold and three of them with silver. So that's what I got. This one right here is gray. This one's white. This is navy with um, white stripes, gold, silver, this is navy and then these two are the, the exact same and they're navy but I needed two of them because not as much comes on these rolls so they didn't have a thick ribbon in any of the colors I think they're out of a lot of stuff because of homecoming so this is gonna have to do but I think it's gonna turn out really cute I'm really excited so they all need to be 12 inches because that's the size she wanted. Um, let's see. So I'm going to cut four of each because she needs four bows. I'm just doing like a slanted cut. I think I'm going to do triangle cut on the gray ones, like on the thickest one. And these scissors are so dull. I might see if I have another pair because this is bothering me. Okay, so now I'm going to take a lighter and just go over all the ends in this so, is so it doesn't unravel. And you just do it really quick. Don't hold it on there for long or it'll burn it up and make it like wavy instead of straight. You're gonna make your bow now, so just layer all of your pieces. So I'm gonna do the silver and then the blue and then the stripe and then a, oh, hold on. After the blue, I'm gonna put one of the sequins, then I'm gonna do the stripe and I'm gonna do the other sequins. And then this navy, solid navy. It's all of them. And I'm debating on adding this. I don't know. Let me see what it's gonna look like. I'm actually gonna add it to the middle because I don't want it on the top just because the um, the center is gonna be wrapped with this white. So let's put this first. This, this. I'm just gonna crease the top one so I know where the middle is. So just fold it in half and pinch the middle together so that it makes a crease. So we know that is the middle because that's where you're gonna sew it. So now take your needle and string and the way I saw it in the video was they just stuck it through the middle and then wrapped it and it did the accordion fold, but I think I'm gonna weave it because I think it works better that way. So here's the middle. 
I'm just going to do like this. So I'm gonna stick it through. Okay. Twice. And then I'm just gonna pull it through. I tied a knot on one end so it won't pull all the way through. And then just pull it and wrap it around. Ew, I don't think it went through that one. So I'm gonna pinch it too. Just to make sure. And I'm gonna keep wrapping it around and tightening it when I wrap it. And then I'm gonna tie a knot. So to do that, I'm gonna leave this side out a little bit. Bring this side and then go underneath just to make like a little knot. So when you pull it, it's gonna tie. Then you wanna go to the underside of the bow. I'm trying to make sure I have my pieces on the right side. And then you're gonna add your little ponytail. So you stick it on here and you wrap it around some more. Pull your string super tight. And then you're going to stick your needle through the ponytail. And then before you pull it all the way, stick your needle back through this little hole so that when you pull it, it makes like a little knot. And I'm gonna do it one more time because I would hate for these to come loose. So there's that. I'm gonna pull on it just to make sure it's not gonna come off. Okay, it's pretty secure. I'm gonna move this to the side and then I'm gonna cut some of this off so that I can make my little centerpiece. So this is just to cover the string in the middle. So you're just gonna hot glue it around and I'm not gonna show you guys this on camera because my hot glue gun is over there. I'm just gonna put a dab of glue and then secure it. All right, so there it is. It's hard to see with all this other ribbon, hold on. So, there it is. I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the little rhinestones that I have. So, just on a little ponytail. And then these are all the ribbons. So when they put it in their hair, it's gonna hang on both sides. So I'm gonna put the rhinestones, I think on this one. I don't even remember where I got these from. And I have this super glue liquid pen. Should be very interesting. I don't know how this is gonna work. Maybe I'll put it on here. There we go. So we'll do that and then just place the rhinestone on top of the super glue. Should stay. Can you guys see it? It's blinky. Okay, so now I'm gonna do it to this one. So. I just finished all the little bows. They turn out really cute. I'll show you guys what they look like. This is the one with the gold and then the rest of them have silver, but they turned out really cute. So this part they're gonna put around their ponytail and then the ribbons will just hang like this. Super duper cute. And then I put the rhinestones, maybe? Let's see, okay, there we go. And then I just um, super glued the rhinestones to the navy ribbon on all of them, just to put some bling. I thought about putting some in, in this like centerpiece. I might still do that. I don't know, we'll see. They're all done. This one's gonna be like the captain, and then these are like, or I don't know what it's called in dance, but this is like the top girl and then the three um, one's right under her. She just wanted like some bling in their um, ribbon to tell them apart from the other girls. Alright guys, so this is going to be the end of the vlog. It's almost 11.30 so I'm going to edit the vlog and get it up for you guys so you can see it bright and early. Hope you guys have an amazing, amazing weekend. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. 
don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys tomorrow.